you want to create composition notebooks in Canva the easy way, keep watching to learn how it's done and download the ready to upload resources shown in this video. In the last video, brainstorming no content book ideas, um, which I will link above and in the description, we talked about wide rule and college rule paper, both of which are perfect for composition notebooks. This is a very popular niche for back to school when students of all ages are preparing for a new year of classes and purchasing all the supplies they need. Generally speaking, you'll find that wide rule composition notebooks are geared towards kids uh, in kindergarten to about grade five and college rule is better suited, better suited to older students and adults. So keep who you are creating for in mind when creating your covers. It's a common mistake that I see with books that are not selling. Hello and welcome to or back to Passive Income Templates. My name is Laura and by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to customize and upload your first composition notebook, cover and interior and all. I've just done a quick Google search for composition notebook size and the standard that comes up is about 7.5 by 9.75. Now if we compare that to the standard trim sizes that are offered by Amazon, there's not an exact match, but the best option that comes up is 7.5 by 9.25 and we're going to be creating a cover of that size today. So if you Google paperback cover templates or cover templates for KDP, you can find this page pretty easily and this will help you with making sure that your cover is exactly the right size when you go to create it in something like Canva or any other uh, editing program of your choice. So we're going to select our finished trim size and as we just saw, we're choosing this 7.5 by 9.25 option. Let's go ahead and fill in a page count of 100 and download our cover template. You won't need to do these cover calculations if you just want to use the resources that I've provided for you, but it might be helpful in the future to know how to do these kind of calculations so you can work with books of different sizes and do your own calculations in the future. So this is the template that we just downloaded and what we need to do is account for the front cover the back cover, the spine, and the bleed on both sides. So what we're going to do is take 7.5, multiply that by two, add the width of the spine, that's 0 0.23, and then for the left and right sides with the bleed, you're gonna to wanna to add 0 0.25. So what that comes out to in terms of our width is a dimension of 15.48. When it comes to calculating the length, all you have to do, or sorry, the height, all you have to do is take 9.25 in this case and add 0 0.25. So what we come up with is 9.5 in total. So let's go ahead and plug these numbers right into Canva. Let's create a design custom size. And now you really want to make sure that you've switched over to inches. So for the width, we're going to plug in 15.48 and for the height, 9.5. And before we get to creating in Canva, let's look at a few in-demand keywords to give us some ideas for our cover. So let's plug in some keywords into the search bar here and see what auto populates. I'm using the uh, KDP niche research extension tool and this will help to bring up even more results. So let's plug in composition notebook and you can see we're already getting a ton of ideas. Composition notebook, let's do wide ruled. Let's keep going and see if we can find something in a niche. So there's so many ideas here. Kids, green, red, flowers pattern for girls, black and yellow. Um, cute for boys, black marble, marble composition, wide ruled, um, composition notebook, wide ruled with sketch, sketch space, so that's something you could potentially create on your own, um, composition, wide ruled with scripture, lots of ideas here. Let's see what we have in terms of college ruled paper. 
college ruled. Let's see what comes up. Um, college ruled floral, leopard. Uh, here's one for burger, cat, leopard, camouflage. So do your own research and see what comes up in terms of keywords and what's profitable. But these are some of the ideas that you could potentially create your own uh, covers and interiors for. So back in Canva, you'll see that most of these composition notebooks have a very prominent spine, usually of a contrasting color. So what we're going to do is add in a black um, spine. I'm just sizing it up here. And then I'm just going to press center to make sure it's exactly where it needs to be. And next I'm going to add a rectangular element so that we have something to hold our text within. Let's just get that lined up here. We can change the color a little bit later on. Um, for now, just so that I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to make this a gray color. And let's add in this border. I might have to resize this just a little bit. Make sure everything's lined up there and uh, good. And let's just add some text. We'll start here with composition notebook. Size this down a little bit. And let's just change the font. You can change this to whatever you like in the template that we will be creating. And let's add a little bit of detail here so that we know a little bit of information about our notebook. And I'm just gonna size that way down. There we go. And again, that's right where it needs to be. Let me just change this font to match just because. And so we're going to be creating a 100 page wide rule um, composition notebook. I like the idea of doing an all over burger notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see what I can find. Add in a burger and let me go ahead and design this and I will be back when I'm finished creating. Okay, patterns done. Just a few more changes that I want to make. So I'm going to add in a background color and I'm just going to pull from the same colors that are already in the document just to keep it nice and coordinated and easy. So let's choose this yellow here and I'm going to change this element to a nice white so that it pops. And there we go, our composition notebook cover is all done. Of course, you could make other changes. You can change the fonts, you can change the spine colors, um, any other changes you wanna make. This file is available to you in the description, ready to use and customize so you can upload your creations with a little bit more ease. When it comes to finishing up your book, one of the options that you have is downloading this composition notebook bundle that I created. It's perfectly sized to go along with this cover. You'll get two 100 page PDFs, one college and one ride ruled. And all you have to do is download um, by inputting a zero and adding add to cart. And keep in mind that both of these pages have lines that go straight to the end of either documents you're going to want to select with bleed when you go to upload in Amazon KDP. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them all. Let me know if you find these kinds of videos useful with a thumbs up. Let me know if there are other kinds of covers or interiors you would like to get better at creating. And I thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.